the brush fires in Australia are absolutely terrifying. Um, they've been burning since September, and there are reports that it could take months for them to go out. Now, I will caution up front. There are some pictures out there that have been doctored where, like, there's this map that's... There's this picture that's supposed to be from space of Australia and the fire's burning, but it's not the real one. People made it look like it was even worse than it is, which is insane because you don't have to do that to make your point. You don't have to do it. It's bad enough as it is. No need to, like, try to make it even worse. Um, But... The facts on this are just mind-boggling. So, more than 12 people have died. 2,000 homes are gone. Hundreds of millions of animals are dead. Hundreds of millions. One article said 500 million animals are dead. And um, here's how big the fires are. They've scorched an area twice the size of Maryland nightmare. So, let me show you some pictures here. So, you see fire in the trees there. Smoke inhalation is going to be a problem there. You got this weird orange hue in the sky. You know, you got, uh, that's a terrifying picture. That's what it, that's what it actually looks like, the fires, if they were on the U.S., in the U.S. Um, again, smoke that's going to cause breathing problems, health problems. Um, Koalas, so many koalas have died, and they're trying to help a koala out there with some medical attention. Look at the the color of the sky there. That's insane. The scorched trees. Again, that smoke is... It's causing its own weather systems, they say. That's how terrible the smoke is. So you can't... Breathing in that air is not safe. You're going to have medical problems as a result of it. And, um, this is, uh, you know, what we're seeing is a situation where people are, this is getting worse and worse. What we're seeing is wildfires over the years have gotten worse and worse and worse. They've gotten worse in California, in the U.S. Now they've gotten worse in Australia. And you can never say that any one individual event is a result of climate change. Because that's not scientific to say that. But what you definitely can say are the trends. The trends are a result of climate change. And you have stronger fires that last longer as a result of climate change. Droughts are getting worse as a result of climate change. Hurricanes are getting more powerful as a result of climate change. The sea levels rising, obviously. Um, you, you have a situation where there will eventually be wars over water. There will eventually be wars over water. That's how bad this is. That's how real this is. There are major cities that will be gone, that will be underwater as a result of climate change. Um, we need a all systems go effort to try to combat this. And the Paris Climate Agreement was just a little step in the right direction. We have to go beyond the Paris Climate Agreement. We need to set some hard, fast dates to totally get off of fossil fuels and move towards green and renewable technology. We need a green technology revolution, which, by the way, would help the world economy massively if we did that. And there'd be tremendous job creation as well. But um, it's wild to see a beautiful country like Australia and just wildfires in so many places. In so many places. How many lives were upended by this and ruined by this? You know, how many refugees now are there as a result of this? How, how many people are going to get sick from breathing in that toxic air, which is, you know, a, there's a, a red sky. There's another picture with a red sky. In fact, let me show you that one right now because this, this one is the one that first slap me in the face to wake me up to what was going on here. The red sky. So some pictures, it's like an orangey hue when the fire's further away. I guess when the fire gets even closer, you have this, like, bright red sky. Something like out of a horror movie. 
And this is what people are dealing with. I mean, imagine... Imagine a situation where we just can't escape regular natural disasters. I mean, it's bad enough as is, but imagine it getting worse. Like whether it was Puerto Rico that got obliterated by Hurricane Maria, or the Bahamas, which just got obliterated by another hurricane. At some point, something's going to hit Florida. Florida hasn't had a massive hit since Hurricane Andrew, which was back in the 1990s. But at some point, another one's going to hit Florida. I mean, imagine... <laughs> Just on a regular basis, places getting hit with Category 5 hurricanes. Imagine every single year, California having out-of-control wildfires, Australia having out-of-control wildfires. Imagine that. We might not have to imagine it much longer, because it might be the reality. Now, I'm not a scientist, and I have no idea, but what I would caution is to listen to the scientists. Definitely listen to them. They know what they're talking about. Don't listen to ExxonMobil executives and don't listen to propagandists on Fox News. So, that's my advice on this front. And you just hate to see such a beautiful country being obliterated by these fires. I hope that, you know, you would think that in this at this late date, we would have some way of combating it that would actually work and work quickly. But apparently that's not the case. So we just kind of sit here while Australia burns and so many people's lives are ruined. It's such a heartbreaking thing to witness.